Hello everyone, I'm Zalian Zakota and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh, where am I looking? There we are. So today's video is going to be quite fun. I went to the craft store. Okay, I didn't go to the craft store. I went to Family Dollar and I went to their crafts section. And I was just browsing through a whole bunch of random things and it got me thinking. Um, I wanted to play with watercolors. Oh, so I wanted to play with watercolors and I, you know, I don't have a watercolor palette and I know you kind of like need um, a specific one or specific ones. I don't know what, what it is. I didn't really care to look into it. I was just trying to be kind of crafty. So I, <clears throat> excuse me. So I went to a family general or dollar general, whatever the hell it is. No, this shit ain't sponsored. Yes, I bought this bag. It was about, I don't know, whatever my taxes were, I'm sure. But that's besides the point. I went and bought some goodies and pretty much just some art supplies to try to see if I can create, um, what was I talking about? Oh, a watercolor eye look. Um, so yeah, I know these probably aren't safe for the face. I know that they're probably not even for any part of the body. I don't even know if they're even going to show up on my skin, but we're going to go ahead and try. I picked this one because it had the most colors. It was pretty. If it was an actual palette of eyeshadows, I would definitely pick out something sort of like this. So I picked this one up and then I also picked up these uh, glass stain. I don't know how safe these ones are, but um, if this video doesn't get posted, that means I died. And if um, it's posted and I'm alive, then you know that um, it didn't kill me. Okay. So I'm definitely not going to put it like obviously close to my eyeball. Like I would have to be an idiot to do something like that. So I'm obviously going to put it like on my skin. Um, I'm sure it's fucking fine. It's not acid. So it's not going to like burn off my skin. So it does. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and try these. I uh, didn't get brushes, but there's a brush in here. And I'll just use my brushes. Oh, okay. Wait. I'll figure out which brushes I don't care about using or possibly fucking up for the making of this video. Okay? So, let's get into this. One more thing. I don't know if I want to put on my base and then kind of like start from there or how am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? By the way, do you guys like my new backdrop? This is going to be the new backdrop for now um, until I make some type of money to be able to get a prettier backdrop. But until then, I hopefully you guys like this one. I thought it was pretty great because I can wear black and you could see my hair um because i was gonna get a black background but then i was like wait i wear so much black and my hair is black and it's just gonna look like a floating face and hands whenever I, you see my hands so i threw that out the window and then my other color that i wanted to do was like um a wine red i guess sort of like this i really wanted like a burgundy um because one of uh, me and my sister were talking about it and she was just like, I, well, I was telling her, I was like, oh, I want a purple background or a really pretty red, like a really dark red background. And she was just like, oh, burgundy would also be pretty. And I was like, wait, I forgot that there was a burgundy color. I forgot that that color even existed. So I decided to go out shopping and pick me up this background and the reason why i got this color is because whatever the fuck is happening in the world right now people be taking all the motherfucking fabrics and this is all that i was left with so i don't mind i'm not mad at it i actually really like it 
Um, it could have been worse. It could have been fucking yellow or orange or some other color that I actually don't like. I mean, I do like yellow or orange, just saying. But for a backdrop, please no. Um, or whatever the fuck was before, like the wall. And the wall was just looking grungy and fucked up and ugly. Anyways, this is really a long intro. So actually, let's get into this. I'm going to have a foundation on and we're just going to get into painting. Okay, so enjoy. So I have my complexion on and now it's time to step into this. So I have a water cup and I could you now get the colors like that. So let's go ahead and open these. I always get confused on where to look because like my eyes get drawn to obviously looking at myself. But then in the same time, it's like I need to be looking at you guys because then it's not like I'm talking to you guys it's like i'm talking to fucking somebody else that's not you anyways so yeah let's go ahead and try to open this wait how can this shit twirl around see there i go looking at myself again how can this shit twirl around and then it still be covered in plastic like how did they even do that and this is the dollar store like Okay, first of all, I need some scissors. Okay, let's see. These colors are actually so pretty if that was an actual palette. Like, that's beautiful. <gasps> wow, I have like every color. I like this. So hopefully this works. So I have to, whoa, whoa. Oh my God, I already broke it. How did that happen? Like, I... <laughs> Okay. I mean, that's what you get when you get stuff from Fo Dollar General. It just breaks. Okay. Did I fix it? No. But that's not a problem. Like, we're not using the container to apply my makeup. We're using the product. Okay. So, glass stain... I mean, to be fair, it doesn't say not to use it on the skin or not to use it around the eyes or the face or anything like that. <laughs> Ooh, I'm excited. I'm so excited to try these. So I got a few brushes here. I got, um, I really don't know why, but I got like a blending brush. Then I got an angled brush. And one one of these boys, girls, things. Then I got a precise brush so I could do a little bit more detailed work. And then I got this big fluffy one. So if I wanted, I don't know, something. If I wanted to do something. So my other, um, what was I going to say? I don't know. Let's just get into this because I'm really excited. So as always, I have my makeup rag, even though this is um, wet, but I still have a paper towel just in case I get a little too much water and I need to wipe it off. So I got that. Another thing... So another thing that I got, I brought out was the um, Take Me To Brazil palette. I brought this one out in case I needed pigment, like in case I needed color. But for the most part, I'm going to just try to use the watercolors because that's the purpose of the video is to 
use the watercolors. So with that being said, let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so I'm gonna just open all of these for now. Well, being that they're glass stain, I don't... Kind of nervous on that one. Okay, I'm just going to open the colors that I'm going to use when I'm going to use them. Because trying to open them all right now is actually hurting my fucking finger. So, I really want to step into this. Stupid thing. So, I'm going to try it with this brush first and see how well this works and um kind of go from there first of all i don't even know what look i want to do i wanted to do some like um i don't know like i, I want to do like this blown out look i want to do like this crying look um hmm 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 two thousand years later so there's two ways that i want to actually do this that i want to see if they work one, I want to like scrape off a little bit of the colors into this pan and see if I could get the color on like that. Then I also want to try to see if I could wet the color. Well, so far rubbing it, I'm not getting no color. Can you see that? Can you? Well, if there's no color, obviously you cannot see that. Stupid me. But, hmm. Hmm. Uh, I think I'm just gonna, like, get into this. I think I want to do this, like, wet, painted look. So, fuck it. But here we go. So, I'm wetting my brush. And let's get into this light baby blue color right here. I'm kind of excited. Okay. So, let's try Okay, so it's actually getting on my skin. Wow. So it's actually putting down pigment. I am actually really surprised. So with that, I'm going to blend it, the edges with this um, fluffy brush. Not really blend, but just like pat it all around to kind of like lighten up the edges. Okay, so I'm going to do like a splat. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, I don't know how to do a splat actually, but we will try. I'm actually really enjoying this. Like, look at it. It's this cheap freaking dollar store thing is actually working i think i'm gonna just do this whole section right here like that i know that looks ugly but you can always go in with um, a damped beauty blender to lighten up some of those sections because we're obviously going to layer this. So you want to like blend it all, not blend it all, but just enough. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is so interesting. Okay, and I want like dripping down here. So I need to somehow put a lot of product. And I think I'm going to use another brush for that one. So I'm going to place this one aside. And I'm going to grab this smaller detailed brush so I can really 
probably be a little bit more precise with it and see if that works out. I don't know why it's not wanting to drip down. I'm trying to put like a lot of product right here so it could fall down a bit. Okay, okay, here we go. And I don't want it to go in my eyes, so I'm gonna like <laughs> turn my head a little bit. Only thing that I really don't enjoy about this is that it's like it's tightening. So like, I don't know if you can, let me see. It's when I smile is when it like crunches up. Oh, I guess you can't really see it, but it does. So I really don't know what I'm doing. Pretty much just whatever happens, happens. I don't have no plan, no motive of what I want this makeup to look like when I'm done. I just want it to do something fun and different that I've never done before and try out something um, different. So I'm gonna like blend this a little bit around my eye like that. Obviously close to my eyeball, like I would have to be an idiot to do something like that into this like really dark blue and really darken in some areas like the middle obviously and I'm gonna get some of those dark elements elsewhere as well just put some darkness here So I'm just putting like random darkness and like just random spots so it like looks like it's been splattered on my face. Maybe like, okay, a good, I guess what I'm trying to do is like I got hit in the face with a paintball gun and this is like I got hit in the face with a paintball gun and made it art. Oh, I think I want to put some purple in there now. I think that would be good. Some purple and some pink. That would be really good. So I tried going in with a pink and apparently it wasn't um, bright enough so it didn't even show up. Um, so I'm gonna go in with a brighter pink and hopefully that one works out and looking at it wet they look like the exact same fucking color. So we might have a problem here. The blues came out beautifully so I'm hoping I don't have an issue with this pink because that's the main reason why I wanted to play with watercolors. So you in here. Okay, so it does work. Yay! Okay, so we're throwing you in here. Giving you some sparkle there. Okay, I like doing that and then I like to blend it out with the damp beauty blender so it leaves the the color there but very lightly so it's not like too bold mm. Mm, mm, mm. I love me some Mexican candy mmm 
spicier the better. But if you guys ever see these around pick you some up because they're delicious. There's different kind. There's ones that are not as spicy. There's ones that are like just sweet, mild. These ones are the really spicy ones because I mean, if you've been following me, you watched my other videos, you know that I love spice. It's making my mouth water just talking about it, but mm. 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 I have nothing on this brush. It's just wet. And I'm going over this area where it's like dry and tightening to like lighten up the amount of product that's in that area so the tight isn't so uh, rough because right now it's pretty like too tight and it feels like if I have like a face mask on So when I first started, I fir well, like when I first started mapping everything out, you guys saw that I used this color. The fuck is that? So I was using this color right here. And then when I started lightening everything else up in like certain areas, I used this color. Whatever that color is. And then obviously to darken certain areas, I used this color right here where you see the darker. And I tried first going in with this pink. It didn't really show up of anything. So then I decided to go with this really bright pink. And look, now they look the exact same. But this one was a bright pink before. And now it's like the same color of that one. Oh well, it worked. So I used that one. And now I'm going to go in with this pink right here. In other areas to like lighten up and look more like this on more of the areas. Because I have this bright pink. But I want more of that like faded out pink so let's do that and I have to like warm it up, not warm it up but I have to like put some water there swirl the brush around get some more water swirl it around some more to really lift up the pink that's underneath Okay, why did it turn dark? I'm cleaning these brushes before I'm putting them back in. Or putting them in new color. Let me see. I'm just going to wipe wipe off that area in general and just see if that works. Let me see. So I stamped it out. And now I'm going to add some more water. Okay, that's semi-helped. Oh well, that's going to be good for now. Let me go ahead and pick up some product. With these lighter ones, I'm going to like just put it all like in certain areas as if it's like it's splatted. It's the lighter pink that's in further areas that barely got splatted on. So this pink isn't really showing up. Like nothing is really popping up. Sons of bitches. Sons of bitches. I think now, since I can't do that, um, should I do red? Or some white. I'm going to try to do the white. Let's see if the white comes out. Because if it does, that would actually be really fucking cool. Okay. And just blood it around. Uh, 
Okay, so I don't think that worked. Now I want a white drip. I want a white drip on my inner eye right here. Use this white that's in here and see if that works because the white is like not really turning so white. I mean, I shouldn't wear black when I'm doing this. I already dropped the foundation on me so many times and it pissed me off. For the most part, that's all I'm gonna do for the watercolors. I'm gonna, con I'm gonna do the rest of my face off camera real quick and then I'm gonna come back and do the final touches with you guys. Okay? Okay. All right, so this is the finished look. So I had so much fun creating this fun look today. Um, I didn't think that watercolors would actually work for eyeshadow, but apparently they do. And that is, you know, pretty fucking dope because if you're on a budget, you want to be creative, you can always pick yourself up a, apparently, a watercolor palette and do whatever you want. So at the end of the day, this should go ahead and teach all of you guys that you don't need so much money to create a fun, crazy look. It's just use your brain, use your noodle, use your whatever you got in your head, the last three brain cells that you have because of whatever the hell is going on in this world right now. Just have fun. Makeup, there's no rules. There's... And if people are making rolls for makeup, throw a fucking empty ass palette at their head and tell them to shut the fuck up. So I hope you like this and please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it because I enjoyed you watching me. I feel your eyes watching me. I feel them. I feel them. <laughs> All right, so have a lovely one, and I hope you guys have an amazing day, an amazing night, an amazing morning, an amazing weekend, an amazing week. Until next time, I will see you guys.